fighting to kids keep kids safe in school. For the first time, we hear the arguments and the challenge of the ban on mask mandates in Iowa schools. KCCI Chief Investigative Reporter James Stratton is live with the latest from the courtroom. Stephen Stacy, today's hearing was on a temporary injunction filed by a Council Bluffs mother. In it, Francis Parr claims the ban on mask mandates in schools causes harm to her six-year-old twins. This afternoon, her lawyer laid out the case, saying the mask mandate banning mandates rather was made to appease voters and not based in science. Further, he claims the law infringes on her and her son's life, liberty and pursuit of happiness, mainly their safety and that it violates a school's equal protection because other entities can require people to wear masks inside their buildings. But the state says she lacks standing, saying that even if the law was repealed, Pars Council Bluffs School District would need to approve a mask mandate, meaning the injunction itself would not address the alleged harms to Pars kids. There's just a complete ban on uh, a safety mechanism, a health mechanism uh, that's been proven to protect children, requiring them to wear masks in school. And there's nowhere to go. Requested injunction would upset the status quo it won't remedy the harm she's alleging because it wouldn't actually give a mandatory mask mandate in her schools and none of the bases for challenging the statute hold up. Went on to say the ban on mask mandates doesn't mean masks mandates are gone forever in Iowa schools. The state claims the law puts the decision in the hands of the state instead of the district level. The judge says the ruling on the injunction will come as soon as possible, though she did not have an official date or time quite yet.